Hi, I'm Andy Fenslow, and I'm the Director of Marketing for Fiber Channel Products here at Emulex. Today we want to discuss the advantages of the Emulex Fiber Channel HPAs versus the risks of using the Brocade HPAs. Today you've got more choices than ever, and as you think about those choices for your servers and for the application solutions that are being deployed in the data center, you really need to think through all the consequences in terms of what's best for the customer, what's best for productivity, what's best for performance. And we want to talk through those three important areas of priority for the IT administrators. Better performance for mission critical applications, finding the best solution for virtual environments, which are absolutely critical in today's data center, and increased productivity, how long it takes an administrator to install and manage hundreds or thousands of HPAs across the data center. Emulex has released our HBA benchmarks for real-world SAN environments using block sizes and application conditions that are much more realistic, much more representative. Let's look at the numbers. This data shows the Emulex LPE 12,000 8-gig HBA versus the Brocade Model 815 8-gig HBA. Brocade is 62% slower, and in high transaction I.O. environments like databases, that can really make a difference. Emulex performs over 200% better on vSphere 4. When you look at Brocade's IOPS performance of 80,000, while Emulex is out there at 190,000 IOPS, critical for consolidated I.O. intensive virtualized environments. Right off the bat, Emulex HBAs have that 30% better CPU efficiency. That means you can support more virtual machines on the same hardware. So the total cost of the HPA is much more than just the HPA. It's the server and the application throughput and productivity that you need to think about. With higher CPU efficiency, higher throughput, you get much better return on investment for those expensive applications. Now let's look at manageability within the VMware environment. ESXi leverages a common information model, SIM. Simplify the management across the data center by providing a framework that centralizes the management of any SIM-based hardware and software components. SIM is comprised of two major components, the SIM provider and the SIM client management interface. The SIM provider is the software layer that interfaces with the HBA's driver and the SIM client management interface. The client management interface is the layer of software that enables an application like One Command Manager or the earlier HP Anywhere product to communicate with the SIM provider. Now, Emulex is better for VMware environments because it offers both the SIM provider as well as the SIM client management interface. Brocade, however, only offers the SIM provider. It does not have the SIM client management interface. With Emulex, the data center admins can manage their HPAs while the server's online. Online management is good. Conversely, with Brocade, the server has to be taken offline and an offline utility, different from their HCM management tool, actually has to be used to manage the HPAs. It doesn't make sense. What's the customer impact? Taking the server offline to perform adapter management is cumbersome, it's time consuming, and it takes all of those applications running in that VMware environment offline. The following details the major steps that are required to go through any sort of management on the Brocade HPA. Step one, you've got to migrate the VMs to another server. Step two, you've got to acquiesce that server. Step three, reboot that server into BIOS maintenance mode. Step four, use the offline utility tools to manage and make the changes on the HPA. Step three, reboot the original server. And step six, migrate over those VMs back to the original server. Imagine going through this on a regular basis. Very, very time consuming, very expensive. By configuring servers with the Emulex HPA, the customer can seamlessly manage those HPAs in an online way and completely avoid any service disruptions and all the extra costs that come with that. For Brocade, why bother? Now let's talk about productivity and how HPAs can increase IT productivity even more broadly. With Emulex, you get twice the management functionality. And most importantly, you can manage the same given hardware in less than half the time. And we have a management report card to prove it. I'll talk more about that in a second. Brocade is particularly weak in automation, in troubleshooting, in configuration, and in reporting. With Emulex, you can centrally manage all the fiber channel adapters with one software tool, one command manager. With Brocade, you have to do them one at a time, one by one. 
You, you can imagine how long that takes in an enterprise environment with hundreds or thousands of HBAs. With Emulex, you can also centrally manage different protocols. You can um, manage iSCSI, Fiber Channel, Fiber Channel over Ethernet. One command manager looks across all of your I.O. platforms. With Procade, you can't do that. Each protocol has a different management tool. Another advantage with Emulex is the boot from SAN feature. Using one command manager, a user can configure an HPA to boot from the SAN while the HPA is online. This allows the user to pre-stage that server and HPA to be booted from a SAN at another time. The IT admin doesn't need to take the server offline to configure the HPA. Very valuable. To configure a brocade HPA, the user has to take down that server. Again, plan downtime, impacting the service levels across that application. Finally, Emulex gives you better reporting. This saves you time and money versus the cumbersome and really incomplete reporting that you get with Brocade. So when it comes to choosing a fiber channel HPA for your data center, you need to look beyond the initial price tag. That HPA you're choosing may end up costing a lot more than you think. With Brocade, there's more server costs, there's more application cycles, there's more admin time, and there's more risk. Brocade, why bother? That's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining me. For more information, go to emulex.com.